open both of the pictures you want to work in today. Starting with the image of the person you want to cut out, make sure that you are clicked on a selection tool in the top left hand corner and click select and mask. Turn the transparency down so you can see the figure you want to select and with the first button clicked you want to just click until your selection is finished. In the output settings, make sure that you are going to output to new layer with layer mask. Click OK. Once you have your new layer with your layer mask, here is the layer mask. You can see that anywhere you see a black on the mask, it has covered up the background. Black conceals. The white is where you the picture is revealed through the white. So white reveals, black has concealed the background of the picture. Now we want to take this selected figure and drag him onto our original photograph. Click on the layer, not either the thumbnails, and drag to the top bar, to the top tab for your second photograph. Drag down onto the picture and let go, and you'll see that your figure the original photo and the layer mask has been applied. Where the mask is black, you can't see the background of, of your figure's photo. Where you see the white, this figure has been revealed and you can see him on top of your flower. To change the shape of your selected figure, press Command T. If you need to zoom out, press Command minus so that you can see the transform box. Hold the shift key and drag the corners until your figure is the right size and shape for the picture. Once you're happy where, with where you have him placed, press return to apply the transformation. Double click on the name in the mask layer and call it boy. You can see that there is a problem with the selection in this area. We're going to click on our boy layer and we are going to click select and mask. Turn the transparency up in this corner here all the way up so that you can see where the problems may be. I can see that right here we need to get rid of some of that background photo. On the second bar, second tool, this is the Refine Edge Brush Tool. Click on that one. And very, very carefully click on around the hair. That will take away some of the edge, especially around places like hair. Turn the transparency completely up to make sure there's no remaining bits that you don't want. Now in the output settings, you do not want to create a new layer with layer mask. You just simply want to update the layer with all the changes you've made. Make sure you output to layer mask and click OK. Zoom out. 